right there on top of the moon We could sit and do nothing I wish we were both to just fly away I don't want to care okay, Hi everyone, Happy New Year! Hope you're doing well so today I want to share with you some chicken recipe. I've been planning to do to do. I've been planning to do this for a while, but I haven't had time. But today I just thought of like cooking it here. Yeah. So this chicken recipe I've done it before, but I didn't show you like step by step. It was just in one of my videos. Yeah, so I'm cooking. I got these chicken drumsticks chicken drumsticks yeah so i'll be using these chicken drumsticks and capsicum the green bell peppers and also have tomatoes i have rosemary uh, i'll just be using it for some flavor yeah. i also have the garlic and onion and then i'll show you other spices as i continue cooking this they're just a lot but yeah let's just let's just start cooking as i show you so the first thing you want to do is just wash the chicken i'm just going to wash on the like just wash it a bit because it is it has too much ice chicken drumsticks since they are kind of they have ice yeah so i'm just going to i might just put it I, I just put that like that and then put my garlic i just want to boil it to boil this chicken yes you didn't find it this is one of the reasons I usually just blend my garlic because this work is so tiresome. They just yeah, it's it's a tiresome work when they were just to cut this. But this I'm I'm just using big chunks because I want to. I want to like just boil it, yeah. So that's why I'm using big chunks. So now I have added some garlic, rosemary, and my chicken there. So next, I'm going to use this ginger. I'm going to use ginger, not too much ginger, and then with my salt. I can't find it, but I'm going to look for it. And then, wait. okay, I have curry powder. I'm just making it spicy. Like, I just want spices in my chicken just to make it more, have more flavor. Yeah, so that's why I'm using those spices. Yeah, I'm trying to find, hey, I'm trying to find turmeric, but I can't. Okay, I got it. Yeah, so here is turmeric. Also want to add it there. So after that, if you have beef cubes or chicken cubes, you can also add. But I don't have right now. 
I don't have them right now, so I won't be adding them, but when you get that, just makes your chicken more flavorful. Yeah, so next I'm going to add salt. Salt, just once. Some salt to boil it. Don't put too much. Don't put a lot of salt. Because if you do, your chicken won't be tasty. Like, it will be too salty. Yeah, so next I'm going to add water. So I'm not adding a lot of water because this kind of chicken tends to be soft, kind of soft. So I'm just adding water that will just boil it until it's cooked and yeah, cooked and delicious. <laughs> so what I'll do is just cover and let it cook, let it boil, I mean. So we'll be coming back here when it has boiled. So now this is almost ready and this water has also reduced. So I'm just going to switch it off and deep fry. So I'm going to deep fry in this pan. These are the pots like here. So first, I want to ensure that I drain all the water from, from this one because I want to fry, to deep fry it. The reason why I am, I, I prefer to like boil it a little bit before I deep fry it is because I want it to cook like fully cooked. You know, sometimes when you deep fry and it's not cooked, it just come out bad. Like some parts are cooked, but some are not. So just to ensure that every part is cooked, I just boil it a little and then deep fry. Yeah, so that's it. That one I'll use for the soup. So just to be sure that this oil is ready, you can dip that. My hands are clean. And so I just need to try. Just enough. So that's enough. So this one is now ready. It's ready. So I'm just going to remove it and put the next batch. You see how it has cooked? You can eat it like this, or you can decide to make a soup, which I'm going to make. But I leave some so that whoever wants to eat just like this can enjoy. So the first batch is complete. I'm not going to add 